Okay, so considering how like the majority of the viewers I've seen from the Death Pool Challenge, I believe to say that most of them have not read the annotations, mostly because they're watching on their iPhones, which apparently don't have annotations. So I'm just going to make this uh, video just to correct those, and I will make sure I post it on pretty much like the comment section so that everyone will be able to see it, and hopefully you guys will like it so that you know that about the updates. So, oh, I better lower the volume there down. So basically, this is just me um, correct, either correcting a few mistakes that people have been saying, or me correcting my own mistakes on dealing with the uh, Death Pool challenge on characters that have I've uh, pretty much failed or really, really close to completing. Uh, we're gonna start with Mario, and, and we're probably gonna skip over the ones that are pretty obvious to uh, decipher. So yeah. Okay, so with Mario, everyone's been saying that it's actually it will be possible for him for uh, to uh, get over to the Death Pool by. Charging up his flood and using it. Unfortunately, there was no video evidence for this, so I can only assume to do so using uh, my own accord. And it's actually worse for his recovery by doing so. Because by doing that, you basically significantly destroy his recovery in the process. Compared to just jumping... Oh, shoot, sorry. I forgot about the flag uh, recovery as well. Alright, let's try this again. So, flood, jump... And, okay, so that lands him somewhere, like, around there-ish. I, I can't really specify, like, the length, but from what I can see, just by jumping, caping, and then doing the recovery, it sends him... Oh, no, actually, it does send him a little bit towards... A very tiny bit towards, um, clo getting closer. Unfortunately, though, that's not enough, because it doesn't matter, because... Because, um, his flood will always propel him downward, no matter what. It propels him, like, back backwards a little bit to the right. However, the majority of the problem as to how he can't recover is because he's not high enough to go to that, uh, reco uh, vertical recovery. So it only improves his horizontal recovery, not his vertical. Actually, in fact, I think, let me try this again. Oh, sorry. Messed up there a little bit. So yeah, it helps with his vertical recovery, but I think it actually hinders his. Oh, I should. I think it actually hinders his uh, vertical recovery. Yeah, because yeah, he has an, a good apple man chance to like recover even further upward without the flood, but with the flood, he can actually recover more horizontally, but not by much. So regardless, he still fails the challenge. Uh, Game & Watch. I think all these, uh, the rest of the Mario characters pass from what I remember, and no one really complained about that, so I'm gonna skip over those characters. So I believe I did actually put up an annotation, f uh, from a video by the name of Favorite Gaming People, and he managed to, uh, find an, uh, a way for, uh, Mr. Game & Watch to recover, using a bucket trick. If I could do this, then, um, I won't need to use the, the back footage, because, like, I have um, other backup footage of me um, attempting to recover with the most most of the characters that I failed with, but let me see if I could try doing this with the game and watch. I think it's really difficult. In so a lot of you have been wondering uh, how Little Mac is able to get over to the Death Pool if he could even make it in, in the first place, and actually it's a quite simple process. All you have to do is just jump, and then double jump, and then side B. And he makes it. It's a very simple process, and he could definitely make it over the death pool. And to my knowledge, he is not under the influence of drugs whatsoever. Okay, so with Link, I do have a video link. <laughs> link? Video link. I do have a video link of him actually making it, by, uh, and it's by this show yeah, dish dish soap 27 he managed to make he manages to make a video of link overcoming the uh, death pool challenge however i tried testing this myself and if he can actually make it it is very hard so of course you do the bomb trick and that's not that's probably not the best i can go though i've actually come i think closer like i think i've managed to land like pretty much on dot with the line oops but I've been trying this like multiple times. Like I think I've spent like about an hour recording just Link recovering this damn thing, and it's 
it's just really hard for me to do so. So I decided to just give up. And whether or not he can actually can legitimately um do it is unexplained to me. But there is video footage of him actually making it over. So there's that. The one problem I've always managed to over uh, the one problem I constantly um have is whether or not he's going to recover whenever he does the spin attack whether or not the bomb's gonna propel him to the right like that or if I could do this uh, timing perfectly or whether or not the bomb's gonna explode and oh that's a bad example hold on the bomb's going to explode and propel him to the left like right there so I found out um, it, it require it, it, it's all in the timing but I don't have the frame perfect advantage to do such a thing, so for now, let's just say that Link is possible, just really, really difficult to do. Also, uh, actually, no. There's also another thing I like to mention is that uh, people have been, uh, even though I actually put up an annotation. Uh, I, I guess I could just excuse that because people have been watching this on a phone. But most of the excuse I've seen people say is that, oh, Link could do it because Toon Link can do it. Which is not true whatsoever. Both of those characters have absolutely different, uh, recoveries. As you can definitely see from, uh, the video itself. Link has worse recovery than Toon Link. And Toon Link has a better, uh, jump angle, a better up special. He propels them even further ahead. And, uh... I think the only different, the only advantage that uh, that uh, what's uh, that Link has more than uh, Toon Link is that his bombs explode faster than Toon Link. But other than that, it's not really much of a factor, anyways, because Toon Link could pretty much easily solve this uh, pass this uh, death challenge w without a doubt. Okay, so for Marth and to a certain extent Lucina as well. There's uh, two things uh, I've been uh, notified about when it comes to these characters' uh, recoveries. First off is the uh, what's the what's the shield breaker move? I forgot what it's called, but uh, in the video, I believe what I did was I didn't propel it further ahead, so all I did was like slightly charge it, and because of that, I wasn't able to get the maximum potential of recovery for Marth or Lucina. The problem is, if I try to fully charge with Marth, it's just gonna send him toward downward even further. Same thing with Lucina to a certain extent as well. So if I fully charge, yes that will propel him further to the horizontal side, but that will also lead him straight to the lava, so instantly he'll fail, even if I double jump as well. He's just stuck in like that landing and he's just stuck in that animation so no matter what I do he's just going to fall down like that. Okay so this is a different recording so I apologize if the uh, quality sounds different from previously. But uh, I forgot to mention two more th extra things about Marth and Lucina. It pertains about the recovery and another po an actual way t for them to actually um, get past into the death pool challenge. So first off let's start off with their um, extra recovery which is their side special. A lot of people have been saying that their side special, granted, while not exactly like melee, is actually uh, worse for them to recover. So, like, if they do that, then it's actually worse for them to recover. For hmm, wait a minute, this mirror is the uh, is the uh, is not doing the uh, what you call it, the power shield. What I forgot what's called. Actually, better or whatever. But uh, aside from that point. The side special actually makes the recovery worse for both Martha and Lucina. That is only true if the if Martha and Lucina is going downward, where there's no like, no uh, uh, what you call it? I don't know. Where basically it doesn't work when they're going down, but it does work when they're going upward. Hold on, I just did it. Yeah, it works when they're actually going upward. So like, if you jump and then side special. It clearly shows that they have an extra recovery boost right there. It just doesn't work when you're going downward like that. So they do have, uh, Martha and Lucina does actually have uh, an extra recovery with that side special, which is the reason why I kept doing that, because it actually gives them a little bit of an extra boost. It does not hinder the recoverance whatsoever, and yes, while it's not as good as melees, it's still a possible viable way to recover. That's, I also like to go back to, um, a previous uh, challenge stage that I'd like to uh, discuss as well, 
which I probably won't make a follow up video since not not a whole lot of people have been actually um requesting it a lot. But going back to the green base stage, where is it? There it is. Going into the green base stage, it is impossible for Lucina or Marth to do this challenge without doing this recovery. So if I do that normally, oh, huh, never mind. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> oh, I just wow, first try. Okay, so I kind of contradicted myself. Right there. Huh. Oh, that's actually a surprise for me. <laughs> I, I can't like when I was doing. Uh, it's weird. It, like when I was originally doing that challenge. <laughs> I kept doing that up special and like it just never did it. And then when I did the uh, uh, the side special maneuver, it actually it actually works. Huh? Hold on, let me try that again. Except this time uh, without the side special. Yeah. It's, regardless, it seems like it the side special actually still does the boost. Regardless, slight boost. Honestly, I, I, I kind of take back what I said about it being viable, since it doesn't seem like it boosts that much. But regardless, there is that mm, slight boost, as you can tell. It all depends on the... Yeah, so if you, like, jump and then immediately side special instead of jump, wait for a minute, and then fall down and do side special, there is an obvious recovery right there. See, look at the line between uh, that, this platform I'm obtaining right there in the background. And when I'm not doing the thing, there is a recovery. So that's my that was my idea when uh, I was doing the uh, side special recovery because it does actually recover it slightly. And of course, the last thing I'd like to discuss is a way for Marth and Lucina to actually get over the uh, the uh, death pool challenge. It is possible, however, it does require an item. Call it the final smash. That is pretty much the only way Martha and Lucina could actually do it. And I do not count items for this challenge, although if anyone's curious, that is a way for Martha and Lucina to make it over. Wow, the AI really doesn't know how to uh, get out of that predicament, huh? You made it. Alright, now we're going to Ike. Most people say that his sight special is a lot better for his recovery. It is better, but it's better horizontally, not vertically. So that's kind of like the re my reasoning behind doing the up special instead, because he sends it further for um, hor uh, horizontally. But if I do do the sight special method... Oh, oops. I'm gonna try that again. If I do do the side special method, it's not gonna matter regardless because it doesn't send him further to over the stage. Even if I fully charge it. In fact, if I fully charge it, that's. Oops. <laughs> I was holding that for too long. Hold on, let me, I need a sound cue for this. I was, I'm not playing this with sounds, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's impossible for him. Oh, uh, actually, I forgot to mention one more thing about Ike as well and the side special. Most of you guys were trying to say that, oh, you could also do it by side specialing and then up special. Except the problem is, if you do that, if you do if you do a side special, you can't up special. If you do the up special, you can't side special. You, it's it's one or the other is the problem. So, like, I try uh, side specialing right now. Up special, up special. Nope, it doesn't matter. He's stuck in his falling animation. The only way for him to not get stuck in... Uh, his side special animation, and this is just from coming from memory. I have not tested it whatsoever. Is if he attacks another player, and player interference is automatically against the rules for this challenge. So, yeah, that that basically I'm Ike is impossible. Another thing is that people say, oh, you could also try fully charges on the edge here. No, you can't. Every time I try to do that, it always gonna it's always gonna propel him to the edge of the of the ledge rather than outside of the stage. And there's no jump canceling. This is not Project M, so it's not like it could jump cancel that. So, with Ness... Oh boy, with Ness. I have not seen video footage of Ness actually passing through the... 
the death pool challenge. And the majority of people that keep on saying Ness can do it are usually the people that say he can do it because Lucas can do it, which is absolutely wrong. Like I said with the Link and Toon Link deba debacle, just because one character plays the exact... Uh, I shouldn't even say the exact same. Ness and Lucas are practically almost two different characters. There is, like, it's basically comparing Ness and Lucas to like Mario and Luigi. Like, Yeah, they have some similarities, but overall their play style, their movement speed, and pretty much anything about them, whoops, they're pretty much different. Lucas has a better recovery than Ness, so of course Lucas is going to be able to uh, make it better, make it past the Death Pool Challenge more easily than Ness can. So, and again, I tested this many times, no matter what angle it is, he's always going to be... Hold on. The thing is, whenever I try to attempt to recover him, He's not in this, like, red boxy area. He's always, like, behind it. So that auto alone automatically assume makes me assume that it's Im completely impossible for him. And the people that say that um, it's possible for him just because Lucas can make it, that's false, without without a doubt, because Lucas has a better recovery than Ness. I hate to repeat myself, but I, I can't stress that enough. Just because a character is a semi-clone to another character, doesn't mean that ca that they're both both of them could easily make it over. That's not true whatsoever. The same can be true with Link and Toon Link. Granted, on Link's side, it's a lot harder, but the same cannot be said for Ness and Lucas because Ness has a worse recovery. Uh, sorry, not worse recovery. He's, his recovery is really good. It's just he has a worse recovery than Lucas compared to Lucas. So that's why Ness is still classified as impossible for me. And I've heard plenty of times that Mega Man can do it, even though I have already made an error fix video on this, provided an annotation as to how Mega Man can do it. But I guess majority of the viewers are mobile users and or too lazy to search up my channel to actually see Mega Man in action. But the way Mega Man can recover or beat this challenge, look, I didn't even need to do a double jump. But he can easily ch uh, pass through this challenge because he has an infinite recovery. With uh, with uh, the what's fuck? What's his? What's the dog? Name? I'm sorry, I don't I don't play Mega Man, but the dog's uh, name, uh, Rush, due to the Rush glitch. For some reason, every time uh, Mega Man tries to recover, if he jumps on Rush again, he can reuse Rush, uh, Rush, therefore bypassing the uh, lava damage and easily going through the uh, the Death Pool challenge with no sweat. So. With using that exploit, Mega Man can certainly, certainly get over the uh, Death Pool challenge. I think I showed that off in the V Hole challenge. Uh, I showed off that exploit in the V Hole challenge, but I don't know. I guess people just don't see the uh, Mega Man update or something of the, of the video I make. Um, I don't think really Sonic needs any explanation for this, but Sonic cannot do the same glitch. But regardless, he can still make it over, as you can see in my video. So, normally, under normal circumstances... Oh, actually, hold on, wait a minute, did... I could've sworn I made it with Mega Man, uh, Sonic before. Yeah, I made it with Sonic before, yeah. Sonic can definitely make it. But, Sonic cannot do the same method Mega Man can. Because, every time he tries to do a spring attack, the spring disappears. Even if I fast fall as well. So, let's try doing that. Fast fall. The spring will just disappear immediately as soon as uh, Sonic does the up special. So Sonic cannot do the same exploit. Uh, and I guess I could go over the DLC characters because they're not included in the uh, actual video. Even though I did make an update video on their status as to how they're able to uh, make it over to the death pool stage. So with... <coughs> sorry. sorry if I'm coughing a lot. Uh, so, with Cloud, it is very easy for him to do so. Just charge up his limit gauge. Okay. So, yeah, just charge up his limit gauge, fully unload, and bam, there we go. She is considered the only Fire Emblem character... Oh, sorry, he and she. I forgot they're technically, like, two different genders, if depending on what you choose. He or she is the only Fire Emblem character that can actually make it over the Death Pool stage. And to do that, I think it requires, like, a really tricky maneuver, too. Like, the, uh, yeah, it has to be, like, at the edge of the, uh, sorry, I might fail this, but I did manage to record myself, um, post-processing of Corrin actually making over. 
So if I fail this one, then I always have video ba backup video footage of this. So yeah, um, not there. Corn has to be uh at like the edge of yeah. It's oops, sorry. Yeah, it's supposed to be at that angle. Just don't propel what I did. Don't uh go to the left side of what I did did right there. Um, but yeah, uh, it's that it's somewhere around there ish. It's a difficult maneuver, but at the same time, like, it's probably, uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I don't need the pack of foot gel, but, um, yeah, it's possible for corn to do it. It's a little bit tricky, but I think it's, like, the easier, it's definitely easier than Link's recovery, without a doubt, so there's that. And with the last character, Bayonetta, she can also do it, however, I have yet to do it with her. I think she's slightly easier than Link's, but still very hard regardless. So with uh, Bayonetta, the original method I did in order to try and, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, pass over is just to simply side special, up special, jump, and up special, or somewhere in the longs like that. I wasn't really utilizing her uh, triple glitch at all because I didn't know it at the time. Uh, uh, oops. What the triple glitch does is, uh, the triple jump glitch does is that you can use... In a normal Star Wars is you can up special, jump, and then up special. You can't up special and then up special again unless you do this certain exploit. Of course, it's frame perfect, so um, I still yet to master it, but yeah, it may take a while. Regardless, I'm unable to pass it with Bayonetta, but there is video footage of her uh, of her passing through the Death Pool stage by. Which twist? That's a very simple username for being a fan, I'm guessing.